Hello there, I'm John Tanner. I'm Editor-in-Chief for Telecom Asia. We're on the sidelines of the Small Cells Asia event here in Singapore. And joining me now is Christian Hedlund. He's the Head of Strategy for Radio at Ericsson. And also joining us is Petra Sheeran. She's the VP of Mobile Broadband for Ericsson Southeast Asia and Oceania. So Christian and Petra, thank you very much for joining us. Now, Christian, we'll start with you. There seems to be two schools of thought when it comes to small cells uh, at the moment. The first is that operators uh, should spread out small cells for improved coverage. And then uh, there's the other view that uh, operators should be integrating small cells uh, into the macro network. So what's Ericsson's viewpoint on this? Well, we believe that it's best to actually run the macro and the small cell layer in a coordinated fashion because that allows the same spectrum to be utilized and better utilized between both the macro and the small cell layer. So that is our thought and, and basically we have shown in different de de deployments that it actually improves the capacity for a given set of spectrum. The unlicensed spectrum has become a hot topic in regards to small cells. Operators are looking at uh, either using unlicensed spectrum in itself or aggregating that together with license bands via license assisted access uh, and so on. So what's Ericsson's standpoint uh, on taking the resources that have been traditionally allocated to Wi-Fi and applying that to LTE? Well, we believe that it's a very good opportunity for LTE carriers to actually allow them to do license assisted access on unlicensed band. Uh, and also with the fair sharing principles that we're adopting in the system, we're actually uh, making sure that we have no congestion or interference to the Wi-Fi services. So with that, we believe it's a very good proposition for mobile operators to actually add and improve the user experience, also aggregating it with unlicensed spectrum. Now Petra, tell us about some of the demand that you're seeing for LTE in this region. What's the potential here for LTE? If you look at Southeast Asia and Oceania, we actually have two of the world's top 10 LTE markets in Singapore and Australia. If you look at 2014, we had roughly 20 million LTE subscriptions in the region, which is about 2% of the total penetration in the region, and they're mostly concentrated in these two markets. But we do see potential. We have a lot of markets rolling out LTE now, and some are doing trials awaiting for spectrum auctions later on in the year. So our forecast for 2020 is around 300 million LTE subscriptions, which will take penetration up to about 20%. So an enormous potential going ahead. Can you give us some examples of uh, partnerships that you've had here in the region with operators with uh, small cells and LTE as they move down the road to 5G? Absolutely. Uh, we have had some very innovative firsts in this region. For example, we had the first LTE broadcast demonstration in Australia. We also have had the first full features voice over LTE commercial launch here in Singapore, and also the first LTA, uh, LTE advanced with 300 megabits launched here in Singapore. As I said, we do see that it's gonna be a lot of growth in LTE in 2015, so that will expand our partnerships there as well. Another area is around network performance and application coverage, and we had one great partnership between Ericsson, Exelaxiata in Indonesia and Facebook where we jointly analyzed the performance of the network and through design and optimization actually improved application coverage with roughly 70%. Furthermore, you've seen a lot of uptake when it comes to our radio dot solution globally, which is a testament to the innovation of this solution. And we're doing a number of trials at the moment in Southeast Asia with Singtel and Telstra being two of the key operators. And finally, recently, we signed our partnership for exploring the evolution into 5G with the same two advanced operators. So quite an interesting time. And there you have it, Petra Sheeran and Christian Hedlund of Ericsson. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.